Today is February 7th, 2019. The temperature is 26 degrees. We're in Oklahoma. The Oklahoma ice storm. We've got 60 miles on this stuff so far. The freeways, <clears throat> the turnpike. The speed right now is 40 miles per hour. This road is actually better than some of the other ones I've been on. Trying to get to still water. Oklahoma. Forty-five mile per hour right now. I'm just going straight, so we don't even give it a throttle coasting. Really easy on the throttle actually right now. As you can imagine, wrecks everywhere today. And last night, coming in from Denver to, uh, I made it into just inside Oklahoma on the 35. I worry about those pickup trucks that they uh, either have a whole lot of weight or they're in four wheel drive. So they're uh, in two wheel drive. It doesn't take but half a second to lose that rear end and spin out into my path. 50 mile per hour right now. I don't need to go faster than that. I'm in no hurry. I should not try to go fast. I'm just rolling along down to 45 because we're climbing a hill. I throttle up too much. That's why I run these dual dash cams just in case. I always want everything in front of me recorded. Gotta go to Tulsa, Oklahoma after this delivery. Turning traffic. And she came to a stop at a four-way intersection right before I turned this thing on. Or how would I put that? Invited you to riding shotgun. There with you guys in the passenger seat. Stops pretty good actually. Did a little bit of test braking. That's one thing you should do if you're rookie drivers. Try test braking to see what conditions are. This is ice and snow mix. gets warmer they should take a blade to it. I don't know how well Oklahoma is versed in highway maintenance. They do have plows, I didn't see that on the interstate. They actually had a grader going down the highway and a plow truck behind it. 43 mile per hour. Still 26 degrees. This is the nasty stuff right here. Like the worst stuff to drive on. Snow is so much better. To get really good grip if you need it, you can come over here like this. You hit your brakes and start going in on this stuff here. Not too far, you don't want to go over, but you can see the difference. You got a shiny and you got a flat. That's what I talk about once in a while, the colors. Machine. 43 mile, 42 mile an hour still. Just putting along. If you go up to 45, maybe even 50, but I don't really need to. 45 right now, that's a good, a good speed. You want to keep your speed up, we're going uphill. You want to keep your momentum going. Well, it's a slight uphill, you can see in the video. Because you don't want to be putting too much throttle in to keep you going. So the faster you get going, the less throttle you have to when you come to the hill that you have to put into it. 45. I don't have my ax 
diesel interlocked. Don't really need it. I don't want to coast up this hill. It's not very much of a hill, but we're at 47 right now. 48, 49, and I'm going to start lifting up on the throttle. Barely giving it throttle. Back at 45, 44, 43, downshift, 43 mph. Temperature's down to 24. I don't know what it's supposed to get to, but don't really matter. I gotta go to and then Grove, and then probably down to Dallas. Stay in steady at 45. The tanker coming up here, Thermos. Day. <laughs> Normally I would get in that other lane, but it's this is all broken up. This lane's probably gonna end anyway. I haven't been in Oklahoma in so long. I have a nice change of pace. per hour. Some Colorado water. El Dorado actually is what it's called. That stuff. I need to be drinking more water. I need quite a bit, but I need to drink more. 55 mile per hour. We are doing 43. starts to spin out, they need that lane, they can have it. Let's not meet by accident, huh? 38 mile per hour. That old boy there, he's that flatbed skateboard, he's uh, empty. Lights don't care what the road conditions are. 
Do you have to be prepared for a change? It's getting nicer, nicer. Temperature's 24 degrees still. Little 45. She's breaking up. Got somebody sitting at the light over there, so I couldn't trigger this thing, but we're good. Pass this guy real quick. Set up. Believe it or not, I didn't even, didn't even splash it. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Somebody did a heavy metal version of that song. Huh? <laughs> We're doing 39 and a 45. That minivan, you see them? They were just like scares all get out. It's okay, they're not used to this stuff. But I don't understand why it's minivans and Toyota Prius. Drivers wreak havoc on the highway, I think. Anytime you see a bunch of people piled up, one of those two cars are going to be in the lead. I don't mean piled up in an accident, I'm just being piled up. Everybody else is hindered. I did see something that I like out here in Oklahoma Highway on I-35. Don't hinder left lanes for passing, something to that effect. And we got a speed racer over here. I'm doing 45 speed limit. You know what he's probably doing? He's probably reading his phone. Oh, how many likes did I get on Facebook? <laughs> get a little cleaned up here. I'll be right back. Here's what I mean by hindering. We're doing 25 mile per hour. He's not gonna get out of the lane. Oh, what the hell? You've been there forever, dude. Now all of a sudden? It really pisses me off when I see people doing this type of stuff and they got their phone in their hand. I see it a lot. Believe it or not, when you live out on the highways, you see all kinds of stuff. We're at 35. If I have to slam on my brakes, no problem stopping. Absolutely not. You can see it's wet. And there again, you have where people don't. There we go. Slam on them brakes. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and good. Didn't actually slam them, but I hit them pretty heavy. People just see snow and they drive one way. That's okay. Just don't block the highway. Don't hinder. Don't blood clot it. Heart attack it. Stillwater, Oklahoma. One of these days I'll get a picture of what my tires look like. Show you guys what sight tires are, what good snow tires look like. Seventy miles today, an hour and twenty minutes. Blame it 
and on the road conditions. Oh, excuse me. Well, you lose it. You lose it when you get in stuff like this, towns. Look at that spot right there. Jeez, you guys, 20 miles an hour. Everybody's going slow, that's fine. Get it get in one lane or the other. This is the frustrating part. It's my perfect example. They're they're blocking the highway. I think Postal Guy is in a four-wheel drive, but I don't know. I mean, are those little things Jeeps they used to be? Anybody know, is that four-wheel drive? I wonder. And if it is, why was he going so slow? There's a, there's a line, I think, that's probably why it seems like I complain so much about other drivers. Is Some people might say I go too fast. Probably do a bit. Then you have those people that go too slow. Like this. Let's, come on. Idiots. See, now I have to stop. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's grip right there in front of me. Truck drivers will do that too. There'll be an intersection, light turns green for them to go. And they like idle out and around. And I'm like, really? <laughs> I get on the radio and I go, you got two, maybe three pedals from the right to the left. The first one on the right is throttle, hit it to go. Next one's brake, hit it to stop. If you have a third one, you know what that means. Wow, eating up my clock. I probably should have gone to sleep or bird. Spinning, spinning. Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> Get around that blue truck. Get her done. What do we got here? Truck coming. Oh, okay, that's cool. They got a little sign here that flashes. It's a mill plant. I guess that flashing, you can see it right there, it means there is a truck coming out. So he's already gone. You gotta have to update your system. Okie dokie. I am at my destination. See you in a bit. Well, that was fun. It was ice. 
I couldn't even uh, walk around there. But I didn't fall. And then I was like, I can get around your building, right? Oh, yeah. But it drops a few degrees for, like, runoff. And so I had plenty of room to maneuver my tractor or trailer, but if I would have got back in there, that it was clear ice. They had a hard time moving their pickup out, getting it out of the way. So I'm like, you know, if I was already in there, I wouldn't be too bad. I also got chains. I should carry a little bit of sand with me, but I don't. Um, my worry was going in. My tractor trailer, my top, my track tractor drive tires would probably be okay, but my steers would not, so I wouldn't be able to turn. So I opted to back out on the highway, which was also a bit of a hill on their driveway, kind of like to the right right there that you see. And I go, if you guys can stop traffic or let me know when it's clear, I'll shoot it. I have to back up and jack my blind side. So I could get out and get back to Tulsa, Oklahoma, where we are now. They said, no problem. So it was clear. I started going. They had to go out there and stop traffic. Cause they had them stragglers that putt-putt. And they uh, always get in the way. But anyway, I backed right out of that puppy and got out on the level highway. And it was good to go. Went north and then turned right on this highway. As you can see, within the last few, within the last couple of miles, it has turned to heaven for a 60 mile per hour to disconnect my interlock axle. I had to lock it to climb that hill, to climb that driveway. Doesn't take much. Lovely, lovely day, LD Water. Sorry, I was trying to plug in my dash cam up here on the left. So I drifted over to the right a little bit. I wasn't worried about it, there's no one around, the road conditions are perfect. way to Tulsa, Oklahoma. They must not have gotten any snow out here. That cop over there, that car over there, the Texas cops have a white roof and a hood. Everything else is black. <laughs> it was a black car with a white hood and a white roof. <laughs> I had to think about that one for a second. Anyway, 65 mile per hour going into a two lane highway. We we're at 62. Kicked her up. Temperature's 22 degrees. The time is 11:33 Central Time. My goal is to get both of these Tulsa, Oklahoma drops done, and then one in Grove, and then take this trailer to rental, take it back to them. Hopefully all that trailer rental stuff goes smoothly. And then more likely I'm going to be Bob Taylor to Dallas, Texas. But if I can get those four things done before they close at that trailer place, I hope they're 24 hours. I'll have to get some information on that. Because I know I can do the next three before 5 p.m. Next three drops. I don't know where the trailer rental place is. Like I said, I'll have to find that out. Let's kick her up to 70 and set the cruise control. Set it and forget it. 
Whew. It's nice to be on this because the last couple days have been mind-boggling rough. I wouldn't say mind-boggling rough, but it's been a bit rough. Wears on you a bit. Now I can jam some heavy metal tunes and uh, maybe even some jazz. Take a deep breath, relax. See you on the next one. Peace.